Hello and welcome to another first ascended video and welcome to my complete guide to your fellow how to farm him, how to level him up, the growth items you need, the different boxes that you have to open up to get the various items you need, how to set up the auto dismantle, some skins that you get, some uh, growth items that you can get for free as well. So all of that in this video and I want to do it efficiently so that you don't waste time and get the dog quickly, get the research materials quickly and uh, as few attempts as needed, let's say. So, first up, um, how to farm the dog. Okay, now I have already covered the farming in a previous video. So, use the time steps and skip to the section that is relevant to you. I just wanted this to be like a complete guide for all the things regarding the companion fellow. So, first up, how to farm the dog. Uh, press G, go into access info. You have the details for the dog here. Now, this is very standard, like you would research another descendant. You have the enhanced cells, you have the stabilizer, you catalyst and you have the code you have different materials that you need in certain quantities before you can research each of these items and then you research the whole dog very standard now the only difference is all of these things are available from doing the void vessel missions the new content they have added season two now once you start the season and you have completed the quest line you should have this terminal available to you uh, and you go here in the view operations and you can do these missions on normal difficulty and hard difficulty. The only difference I've noticed is with uh, the hard difficulty, the materials, the research materials and things that you get, you get a few more. Basically, you also get a few more of the decryption keys that are needed to open the various boxes within the void vessel. So let's use an example of the hard difficulty. Now you can do it on normal. What I'm saying is if you prefer doing normal, you can do that as well because the normals will be faster. You'll take less time. And even if you get fewer materials, it'll probably come out the same. Anyway, the way this works is you finish the void vessel. At the end of the void vessel, you'll run into the new boss, the Dread Armor Commando. Once you defeat him, based on how much time is left after you defeat him, you get a certain number of boxes. So the top award is if you have over two minutes remaining, you'll get all four of these boxes, all four quality of these boxes. You will either get the boxes on the left side for the descendant, Keelan, or you'll get the box on the right for the dog. This is RNG based. You may get unlucky and just keep getting the dog box constantly, which is what happened to me. I had the dog, all the materials in, in about 10 attempts, less than 10 attempts. Uh, or you might get the descendant box. So that doesn't matter um, if you are Farming both of them, it shouldn't matter too much. But if you're just farming on the dog, you can skip to not uh, skip these boxes, don't open them. The reason why I say this is when you finish the mission, when you defeat the boss, the Dread Arm Commando, you get decryption keys. On hard difficulty, you'll get six. On normal difficulty, you'll get four. One of these keys is going to get used in the box that you open after defeating the box, this container. This was pointed out to me by one of my viewers in my previous video because I couldn't figure out why I was getting five instead of six because you use one of them to open these boxes. The other keys are used to open the various boxes within the game. So, okay, so this one here, well, let's say you finish it in over two minutes, you should target the top box. Now, there are different names for it. This might get confusing at the start. Don't worry about it. Just open the box with the red symbol, the one on the left. Okay, now the difference with these boxes is the top one has better percentages for everything, the things that you need, the dog items. All four of them have the dog items. So enhanced cell, stabilizer, catalyst, code, all of them will have that. And each box will have one item at the best drop rate. So the lost data vault has enhanced cells at 25, the others are at 4, 6, and 8. This box, the restricted box, has Stabilizer at 25%, the others are at 6, 12, and 9, so better odds for the other items. This one, the imperfect data vault, the third box, the third item is at 25%, the spiral catalyst, others are at 12, 16, and 8, even better for the other items. And then this one here, the top box, the intact data vault, has 25% for the fourth item, the code, others are at 20, 15, and 10. So you have better chances of getting everything um, with, uh, with the intact box, okay? Now, let's say you are going to start out the farm. First thing you should do is set the reward. This is the targeted reward system they have introduced. 
And the way you do that is, let me see if I have something here. Let me remove this and then set it up again to show you how this works. So you go into the Sheepdog. Let's say you want to select the code here. Uh, press F and then select this with G. Now it's been added to the reward system. You go back here and have a call. Now what happens is, let's say you go and finish the mission. You open the intact box and you get enhances instead of the code. So this will start filling up. You'll get 11% there. Next time you go, you get gold, let's say. This will go up to 22%. Third time you go, you get the Keelan box, the descendant box. You don't get the dog box. Then this will stay at 22%. This will not change. Then the fourth time you go, you get the stabilizer. This will go up again to 33%. Next you go, next time you get the code, and then you can you know, remove this and set it to the other item that you haven't received the enhancers. So far, as far as I can tell, most people have managed to get it before this bar fills up completely. So it is there, it is good for the extremely unlucky, but most of us haven't had much use for this because we got the items before. This may be useful for other things besides the descendant and the dog. Parts may be future content, we may be able to get more out of this. Anyway, so you set the reward, then you go and do the thing. Now, the other thing you need for the dog is um, these research materials. Now, there are four types of boxes in the game, in the void vessel when you go through during the mission, and the container is at the end. So you have the broken materials box, you have the special materials box, you have the experimental materials box, and you have the genetic information materials box. For all these items, you have to open the experimental material storage box. I'll show you in the void vessel as well, all these different boxes. So you have to gather these things. So the smart thing to do at the start, when you are farming for the, this, uh, for the companion, let's say you get these items, you've got one or two, or you're farming them, only open the experimental material boxes so that you can save up on the decryption keys. So these keys here, you only get six of them. You'll use one of them to open the container at the end. The five remaining keys, don't open every box. Just open the one that you need. So get the experimental box first. Ignore the others. Get the experimental first until you have all the items you need for the research. Okay. So until you have all these collected, only open the experimental box. Once you have everything and you've started research, then we look at the research items, okay? So you go into the enhancement and you get these things here. You have fortified supplement, special synthetic calcium, and ultimate protein compound. So what these do is they increase the level of your dog, okay? So they're pretty straightforward. You have lectin acceptor, you have adaptive protein and various other things. Now all these items, these three items. I wish they had put this in a different color because that would have made things a lot easier to understand. So these three items, these you get from special material storage, okay? I will show you the boxes very soon. And same here, these will also be available in the special materials boxes on board difficulties. Same for these three um, special material boxes, okay? So you collect these as the research materials and the final item here, in each of them, this one here, fortified supplement blueprint, the blueprint, you get this from genetic information box. So this is the fourth type of box, okay? And this one here, also from the genetic information box, and then the compound protein, this is also from the genetic information box, but notice this is only on the hard difficulty. Also, this is extremely rare, I have done the void vessels 50 times on hard difficulty. I have yet to find a single one of these. And there is a good reason for that. Anyway, so four boxes. Now you might be thinking, what is the fourth box? You've only mentioned three. The fourth box is basically a box that does not require a key. And it is used for the research materials for Keelan. So these things here, these are available in something called the broken materials box. These do not need a key. Your key will not get used up and you, you need them for researching Keelan. As you can see, I have more than enough, so we won't need to worry about that. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go into the void vessel, and when I get to a section where we have the boxes, 
I'll show you the boxes so you can see what they look like and which ones you should target. Now, as you move through the varied vessel, you'll run into different places that have boxes. So keep pressing your tab and you'll often see these symbols here. So you can see here, inside here, there are some boxes. And the green ones are the ones that require a key. The white ones don't require a key. Now, there is usually some way of getting there. So you can see here, you open this with the skill or with the bolt here. And then you try and get to the room with the boxes. If you have teammates, the door will automatically open up once one of you goes in there. So you can see the door opens up. Now we have the boxes over here. These are the broken material boxes. These only have items for Keelan, uh, the research materials for Keelan. We don't really need this one, but if you open them, you'll get something called the Void Essence or something else like the Semi-Permanent Plasma, which is available everywhere in the open world. Anyway, the other box you have is the Special Materials box, okay? So it looks exactly like this. This is broken. This is not broken. Then we have the experimental boxes. So if you are farming for the dog, this is the one you need. Experimental box, this will have the items that you need for researching the uh, different blueprints. So if we open this, we got clone plasmid, centromere mixture, specialized serum, luminous alloy, exilium. So these are the materials that you need for researching. And if you are lucky, this might be the genetic box. Okay, so this genetic box is the uh, last item in the growth uh, thing. So the specialized, luckily we have all four boxes in this room. So this is the broken box. This is the special materials box, okay? This is the experimental, you can see experimental and genetic look the same. So this has the research materials. This has the research materials for the uh, food for the dog, okay? The leveling stuff. Okay, and this one has the three difficult things, the blueprints, the protein compound, the calcium, those things will be in this one. Let's see. We only got gold. We did not get any. So these are the four boxes. These three require keys. These do not require keys, the broken ones. And if you already have the descendant, you don't even need to bother opening them. Uh, so yeah, use your keys selectively. So when you are researching the dog first, only open the experimentals. Ignore these ones, otherwise you'll be using up the keys and it'll take longer. Once you have the dog and you're researching the dog and you're going for the growth items, then you open these two, okay? And you may just open these if you have a lot of the materials, but you can open these two, okay? Bonus tip, when you are doing the void vessel, you run into these things, the beacons here, and if you activate them, you get some extra time against the boss. So on normal difficulty, you'll get 30 seconds. On hard difficulty, you'll get 15 seconds. Normal difficulty, you have five of these. Hard difficulty, you have 10. Maximum you can get is two and a half extra minutes against the boss. So try to activate as many of them as possible. I've often done these and I've noticed my teammates ignore them, but this will help you against the final boss so that you get the best box, the intact data vault. So yeah, just a bonus tip if you are new to this. Once you have the research materials for the dog, for the growth items, uh, you go to Anais as always, and you have a fellow section here where you can research each of these items. And you know, once you collect these items, so again, these were from the experimental boxes. This is from the container at the end. And for the enhancement materials, you go here, go scroll down. You have uh, the ultimate protein, spe uh, special synthetic calcium, and the fortified supplement you do them and research them as you will. So this is from the special materials boxes and this is from the genetic material boxes, okay? So when you have at least enough to farm them, these three items are not difficult. It's the final blueprint that is difficult. Even this one isn't difficult. I have 17 and I have another 24 with me because these rarely drop and this one drops all the time. So I've so far only managed to get this two times and over 50 hard void vessels and I don't have a single one of these. So, once you have all of this, how does the leveling work? Let's look at that. So, you go into your inventory. There is a section for manage fellows. You go here, you can name him first. Then you go into the, there should be an equip, unequip button, so make sure he's equipped. Click on level. Now, he goes up to 30. You cannot level him by doing things. You have to feed him these supplements. The way this works is this one here, fortified, 
this will give you 1000 XP uh, to level, okay? The special synthetic calcium will give you 2500 XP, okay? And the ultimate protein compound, I don't have it, but I had a look on uh, Discord and other places, and I forgot the name of the person, I think uh, Midgard something. Um, they had a screenshot, and the ultimate protein compound gives you 10,000 XP. The leveling, how this works is from level one to level two, you need 1000 XP. At level five, you will require 1200 XP. At level 10, you'll require 1500 XP. Level 15, you require 1800. So let's do that here live. So you can see here at level nine, we are still getting a 1200. Level 10, this will be a 10 if we use, uh, how many have we used, two of these. We'll get to level 10 and it'll be 1500 per level. Uh, let's go up to level 15 next. See at le level 15, showing 1200 again, that doesn't make sense. It's 1800. So when you cross level 15, it'll be 1800 to, to level. Let's see if we can get up to 20. So we're up to 19 here, let's use one of these. So you can see here at level 20, we will require 22 now. Okay, so yeah. So let's use all of this. We should be up to level uh, 21 with 22,000 XP used up with this. Okay, so as you can see here, when we do all of this, your range increases. So as at the moment, uh, fellow item detection rate is 48. Module drop rate increase modifier goes up as well. So as you can see, we don't really need this because I was stressing over not being able to get this. As long as you keep getting a bunch of these, uh, you'll have plenty and you'll maximum level is 30 anyway. At 2200, it'll require two, uh, more than two of these to get one level. So it becomes a little harder, but you saw how many of these I got already in about 50 attempts also I got the master um, so I forgot the dog mastery also counts right, let me see if I Research. I'm listening uh, yeah let, let's uh, use up as many as we can we can only do five we need a few more of these so let's uh, research five more. Now, some bonus tips. If you go into your journal in the award section and go into the fellow section here, you get uh, some, uh, depending on how many enemies you kill um, and other things, level of your dog. Uh, it is not registering my dog level. We just got to level 21 and it's not giving me the words. So it might be bugged. Uh, let's uh, just unequip him and equip him again, perhaps. Yeah, the awards are not showing up. Ah, see, they are showing up now. So you can see here, we got to level 10. We got this skin for him. Uh, complete missions. Did we already get to level 20? There's a reward for 20 as well. So, okay, we may have to do this a few times. I think that is the bug. So, okay, it's, it's not working apparently. 12. I, I'm at 20, so it's show, showing up a few times. It's interesting I'm doing this, at least I'm recording this because this is an interesting thing that has happened. See, I got something. We have leveled up again, I think. 14, it's only counting two levels at a time. Okay, this is weird. Let's just go outside and do this. Okay. Unequip, equip. This should take us to 16. Unequip, equip, unequip, equip. 
Let's see how far we have managed. See, so it's only like counting two levels every time because we went so far ahead so quickly. Oh, good. Um, yeah. So at 20, you get this skin. And also, if you do a few things, you get two more of these fortified supplements by doing five missions with the fellow. And if you kill a thousand enemies when the fellow is equipped, you also get the synthetic calcium. This is kind of rare to get. Like I said, I only got two of these uh, blueprints. They're giving you one of this, and this gives you two, uh, two and a half thousand uh, XP. So let's now look at the skins for the dog. Um, customize and fellow. And we get some patterns. So we got this black pattern here, very stealthy. And we got the Albion protector, uh, more orangey, I guess. <laughs> this, this is the pattern. Uh, yeah, let's equip this one. Now, the skin is different. I don't have any skins. You have to buy these skins. This is the pattern, like sort of like the makeup you have for the descendants. And you can paint him if you want. I haven't done that. Back attachment, we don't have anything. Three head skin. Again, you have to buy this spawn. This is a very nice spawn, by the way. Have a look at this. Yeah, I'll probably buy that. And now let's talk about the auto dismantling, which should be the last item on our list. So once again, go to the inventory manage fellows and just click on use that's it it'll take the same settings that you have for your reactors weapons and external components um, this is what I have said if you want to have a look exclude from junk anything that is ultimate or higher for the weapons for the reactors again exclude anything that is um, ultimate or higher for the reactors the filter settings I have selected these things I only want these things and they I want them to be uh, gold. So for example, skill cost, I find it to be useless. I never use it on the reactors. So I don't want uh, skill cost. I have set it to dismantle. Similarly, we have things like HP heal modifier, sub attack, um, additional skill attack against the Legion of Darkness. So any reactor that drops with these things will be selected in the dismantle section. I only want these items and a combination of these for my reactors. I don't care about anything else. External components, I'm a little more flexible. I'm okay to go with some of the purple items and things like the down but not out duration. So when you get knocked, how long you can survive. I don't really use this. I don't think anybody uses that. So I don't want this on the thing. So anyway, what you do is you select all of this and click apply. And when you go around doing missions, you will have the items in collecting and periodically the dog will keep dismantling them based on your settings that you have here, exactly the same thing. The one bug I noticed here was that uh, my inventory was completely full. So I have 162, it was 162 and nothing was happening. So to test it, what I did was I deleted one item and then instantly everything got deleted as well. So that seems to be the bug that if you have like max, if everything is at full capacity in your um, components here, it bugs out and doesn't auto dismantle, but everything else works. So yeah, very simple. All you have to do is just select use and you it will use the existing um, settings for your junk that you already have. So that is everything for the dog. Let's quickly look at the shop as well because we have um, the same thing uh, for the dog. If you have the dog, dog is 500 caliber. If you don't want to do the farming, trust me, it's very easy. 10 attempts will be more than enough to get the dog. Um, and you can do it on normal. And what you have in the bundles is, if you have the dog, you get discount. So um, since we already have the dog, we are getting a discount. On, uh, this is like the 110 caliber discount. And you get another 500 knocked off because we have the dog. So you can go with this skin. I may get this one. 365 is a lot more reasonable price-wise. So you have, um, how do I see this case? You have the goggles. You have the back attachment and the howl animation. I think I'll go. If I do buy one, uh, you have other bundles for like the Jet Black Hound with the camouflage outfit and things like that. The goggles here. So, yeah, plenty of options here. And so, I think I have covered everything. Hopefully, this was useful. Good luck with your. Um,
grind for your talk shouldn't take you too long I've noticed people like to complain and you know mention that it's taking too long but trust me it's not that big a deal as far as the supplements are concerned it's again not that big an issue the protein thing gives you 10,000 XP so you level up much faster with that but um, you don't really need that look and see how many I have already without having to do anything so also as you can see the dog uh, leveling also gives you mastery rank XP so there we are 28 mastery rank I haven't seen this in a while all right thank you for watching good luck with your dog grind um, and yeah let me know how it goes it's not as difficult but hopefully I've covered everything about the dog and how to get him and how to level him up and how to set the dismantle thank you for watching as always and see you next time